What some call the epidemic of synthetic drugs like bath salts has become so widespread, it's as much of a health problem as it is a crime problem. So Onondaga County wants to raise awareness in schools about this new class of illegal and dangerous drugs through a program called the Be Safe Initiative. Today, the county legislature's health committee was briefed on the progress of the initiative. I think this education program can be the first line of defense in our school systems to prevent the spread of this. The Be Safe initiative is being developed jointly by the Onondaga County Health Department, the Mental Health Department, the Prevention Network, and the Poison Control Center. Officials are reaching out to school districts in hopes of making it part of their curriculums. This fall we want to have sort of a blitz to get the word out there to provide resources to the schools and then I think over time we will look at integrating it into the existing substance use prevention programs. Because most schools are wired into the internet and students are computer savvy these days, the Be Safe initiative is going to take advantage of that. The county intends to conduct webinars in which classrooms across the county could link into live seminars with drug experts via the internet. Health Commissioner Dr. Cynthia Morrill warned lawmakers that there's a game of cat and mouse between the makers of these drugs and law enforcement. What's currently banned under the name of bath salts could be reformulated and sold as something different in hopes of evading the law. These are drugs that are produced outside of the country in factories that produce illegal drugs. And it's very important to all of us that whatever we do today, we can be flexible and adaptable so that we can apply it for the next drug of the day. The Be Safe initiative is expected to cost taxpayers $21,000. Lawmakers today seemed willing to pay the price. Jim Kenyon reporting.